Thank you everyone for being here. My name is Liana. I am a second year medical student at Penn State College of Medicine. Um, my next question is towards um, Dr. Rajani and Dr. Velasquez, and it's how did you become a vascular surgeon? Did you go through the five plus two or zero plus five? And in your opinion, is there any advantage of doing general surgery before a vascular fellowship? All right, well, I did the traditional training that we call traditional. It's not really traditional, but just sort of like how it started. I did five years of general surgery and then did two years of fellowship. Um, I loved it. I honestly just love my general surgery experience. I did not know I wanted to do vascular surgery. Um, so I really just enjoyed having all that exposure to uh, all of the general surgery subspecialties and you know treating all kinds of patients and so forth. Uh, so kind of really loved becoming a surgeon. And when I was much cheaper, I really loved it. You know, it was it was a really good experience. Uh, and then, you know, the two years of, of um, vascular surgery were intense. They were really intense. They were really intimate and lots and lots of learning. You know, like you kind of come out of general surgery, like, oh, you know, I kind of do it all. And then just like, you're just, your first day of there, you're like, you're a dummy. <laughs> you don't know anything about it. So it's kind of like a, huge, you know, like going down and kind of like trying to climb up that ladder. But uh, I, I don't regret it. I don't regret that at all. Uh, in terms of if I think that there's one better than another, I don't think that there's one better than the other. I really just think it depends on your interest, right? Unfortunately, a lot of uh, medical students are not going to be able to know what they want to do surgically right away. And then they may not have any exposure to vascular surgery. That's what we want to change. We want to make sure that they have some sort of exposure, know what exactly, show them what we exactly do so that they know that they could do that because a lot of them just want, or they do it, you know, towards the end of their, you know, MS4 and by that time they feel that they're, you know, it's so competitive, I'm not, I'm not getting. So I think the, uh, with the advent of um, integrated uh, programs, I think it's phenomenal. You know, you guys are incredible. You guys create your soul so equipped and so competitive that, you know, we all want to, you know, train you and, and, you know, you guys will be our bosses one day. So really feel like both of them are, both options are great. And if you already know you want to do vascular, go for it. Uh, you start doing vascular from day one, which is awesome. I honestly don't miss the colon, don't miss the gallbladder, don't miss the hepatic resections. I don't miss any of that. We do enough belly surgery to be around that area, you know, but uh, don't need to be doing all that. So. Yeah, I'll let go. I mean, I did five plus two plus two. Don't do that. That's just a really bad idea. I did two extra years of fellowship. I, I don't like noise. Like I, I like keeping things simple. And I, I worry sometimes, especially at the med student level, it's so easy for someone to get in your ear and create noise. So both O and five and five and two are great. They really are. And there are reasons to do one versus the other. I like to highlight the reasons that people hear that aren't true. So sometimes you may have heard that you should do five and two instead of 0 and five because it's better training. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That's not true. We've shown that over and over and over again. That's not true. But you'll still hear it from time to time. You might hear from time to time that you should do 0 and five because by the time you're applying for fellowships, there may not be any fellowships left. That's also the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Those two things are noise. Those are not true. You should do integrated vascular if you're 100% sure you want to be a vascular surgeon. You should absolutely do it. If you're 99% sure, maybe you shouldn't because it's really amazing. And I think you heard Dr. Berlin's story, my story, Dr. Velasquez's story. None of us were medical students wanting to do vascular surgery. And the reality is you all know this. There's only so many things you can be exposed to, right? Like I might have been meant to be the world's greatest radiation oncologist. I still don't know what radiation oncologists do. Like. I, I never did that rotation, right? I don't know if that was my calling. If you need more exposure, do five and two. If you're 100% sure, do one five and you'll get the same training. And if you do five and two, you'll still get a great fellowship. That's noise and should go away. <laughs>